Oh, we all know that decorating can be scary because all sorts of things look appealing, right? But it's overwhelming to see the selections in the stores. Most people are worried about spending their money for what might turn out to be, yikes, a dreadful mistake. So how can you make the right flooring selection? How can you spend your money wisely? How can you be a smart shopper? Can you ask the right questions or know when a salesman is trying to pull the wool over your eyes? Well, this video is intended to help. It's based on the fact that you are the only one who knows what feels right to you. In order to make an informed flooring choice, you need information. You need to know your options so that you can choose the product or products that will work best for you. So where do you start? Start by considering the realities, you know, your lifestyle, what your decorating will have to accommodate, who will use the room, what activities will go on in that room, how long a time will be spent in that particular room, and what is the room itself like. Because no matter how good a flooring on sale sounds, the truth is, your flooring needs to work with your lifestyle. So think about how you would like to describe the room when it's finished. What adjectives would you use to describe the atmosphere? Are you going for a warm, cool, or something changeable? How about bright, dark, quiet, even energetic? What is the character of the room? The adjectives you select will suggest certain uses of the decorating tools of color, pattern, and texture. The logical elimination of some of the options will help narrow your focus. So for instance, does the room have a view of the outdoors? Now that's a wonderful asset to have. You might make the room seem larger by creating an indoor-outdoor effect. What is this room adjacent to? Do you want it to seem connected to or separate from the adjacent space? Because rooms that are seen together, well, they should be compatible in design. What's the feeling? The sense of space of the room. Cozy, spacious and airy, or an indoor-outdoor connection. What words do you want to describe the room you design? Consider the realities of your room's use, and of course, what lifestyle does the room fit into? Do you see it as a rustic country, or informal setting, or a semi-formal, or formal setting? An important consideration is maintenance. Do you want flooring that's easy to clean? Does it need to be waterproof or moisture resistant? Is it a high traffic area where durability is vital? And finally, all the decisions that need to be made in selecting flooring will be tied into the adjectives you use to describe your room so that you will know what will work for you. You'll know what to ask for when shopping and what alternatives will still achieve the look you're after. It could go something like this. Hello, I'm looking for flooring that's easy to care for with a rustic look for an active family room. The New Floors website poses the questions that will need to be addressed in order to select the correct flooring. As you search the site, you'll know the right answers for you.